Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you like a Valentine's um, makeup and hair tutorial. It's just a quite subtle pinky red eye makeup look, not too bold, quite simple, and a nude lip, which is pretty easy to do. And the hair I've just got in a donut bun, which I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video so if you like what I see um, keep watching and I'll show you how to do it so first of all obviously we're going to start with foundation um, I'm just using this buffing brush to buff it into my skin and obviously you can prime and moisturise before that So when you've done your foundation, um, just add a bit of concealer wherever you think you're going to need it, which obviously my dark circles, because I always look so tired. And on any blemishes. And the foundation and concealer are the same products that I used in my last um, makeup tutorial, the Kesha Timber one. If you want to see that, I'll link that below. But that's got most of the products, or a lot of the products I'm going to be using today in them as well. So now you're going to want to powder your face to get rid of any shine and to set it as well. So now I'm going to contour the face using again the sleek face contour kit. And just contour it how you usually would. And then a little bit of highlight and blush. So now I'm going to do the brows. Um, I've just got my Rimmel eyebrow pencil again and I'm just going to fill in my brows. So I've just filled in my crazy brows um, and now I'm going to get onto the eyes which obviously is the most important part. Um, I'm going to start off with um, Maybelline's Colour Tattoo 24 hour which I absolutely love. And again, like the last video, this one is in um, 65 pink gold. It's just awesome, it just stops your eye makeup from moving anywhere. And it's a really nice base because it's like a light pink which is perfect for this look. And I'm going to apply that all over the eyelid. I'm going to zoom in so you can see. And now I'm going to take my sleek palette, the O Natural one, yet again. Um, and I'm just going <clears> to <throat> take a little bit of this peachy orange tone and apply that all over the eye where I've just put pink. And now I'm going to take a bit of this taupe colour in the corner and apply that just below the brow and in the inner corner of the eye. And now I'm going to add a tiny bit of this 
it's called Conquer in the Sleep Palette. It's like a um, like a shimmer, like burgundy browny red. And I'm going to use my big, well, angled fluffy brush and apply that to the outside corner and blend that up over the lid. So I'll zoom in for that. And then I'm going to take a tiny bit of this colour here, which is Regal, in the Sleek palette, in the O Natural palette. Which is like a, the same sort of shade, but a matte version, and it's a little bit darker. And just apply that right to the outside corner, and drag it underneath a little, just to darken it out. And do the same with the other eye. So now I'm going to take a little bit of this black, matte black in the corner um, and I'm going to use an angled brush like this and apply a very very small amount to like the lash line of the top and bottom lashes just to make them look a little bit thicker. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply a mascara and that should be the last step of the eyes. Now I always curl my lashes once at the base, hold it for a few seconds, move the curlers up and do the tips. So I finished my lashes and now I'm going to go on to the lips. So I'm going to go for nude lips um, and I'm going to use a nude lip liner and line my lips. You can't really see where I've put the lip liner because I do want it to be really subtle. But now we're just going to use a nude lipstick and very lightly dab it onto the lips. And then we're going to take a tiny bit of taupe, which we used on the top, below the brow bone and in the inner corner of the eye. And I'm going to apply a little bit of this on the inside of the mouth with your finger. So this is the makeup look with nude lips and a pink, pinky red eye makeup look. And now I'm going to get onto the hair. So for what I'm gonna do with my hair, um, it's, I don't know, I think it's, I find it a little bit easier if your hair's quite like textured or, you know, got a little bit of a wave in it. I, I don't know, I just find that it looks and holds a little bit better. And my hair is actually two day old hair, so um, that also helps it to stay a little bit too. But I am going to apply a little bit of Batiste dry shampoo through the hair, just to ensure that it doesn't look greasy. But I'm going to be using this hair donut for my hair. Um, this is basically how I do it. Um, I've seen a few videos with different ways of using one of these, but I'm just going to show you how I actually do mine because I've got quite short hair. So I actually find it quite easy to do it with short hair. But anyway, I've got this um, hair bubble, hair tie, whatever you want to call it, um, in a similar colour to my hair. And I'm going to back comb a lot of my hair near the roots. And then I'm going to pull it all back to whatever height I want it. You can make it a little bit messy. Well, you can make it messy or you can make it um, like really smooth. You can smooth it out with a brush, but it tends to suit me better 
a little bit messier around the roots like that and then I'm just going to tie that with a hairband and I leave my fringe out too as well for this look because again it suits me better pull a few bits of hair out and now I get my donut and I just put it over the hair like that if you can see that and I get another hair tie ready. I'm actually going to use a big one again, a thick one like that. And now I'm going to separate the hair at the top. I don't know if you can see, this is probably a really weird angle. The hair all over the donut and get the hair tie and just put it over like that. So all the hair covers the donut. And now with any bits of hair sticking out like this, you just want to pull them round and tuck them in. Or you can pin them. And now you can use some hair grips or bobby pins and just pull bits of hair up and pin them in or pin bits of hairs like this into the donut, which I'm going to do now. That, just pin that in so this is the finished look i hope you like the video comment rate and subscribe and look out for some more videos that i'm going to be putting up soon um and some more makeup looks and check out my blog too which will be linked in the bar below thanks for watching guys